So what we got behind us here, we've got what I like to say is the world famous lot right. I don't know if it's really world famous or not, but all jokes aside, we've been working on this truck for quite some time. Hey guys, welcome to Overdrive. My name's Troy Massey, owner of Tri-State Vacuum and Rental and also Massey Motor Freight out of Nacogdoches, Texas. We operate a fleet of tanker trucks out of Nacogdoches, Texas, and then also a smaller fleet of reefer trucks that run over the road, about 325 total units. This is a 2014 model 389 with a flat top sleeper on it. Truck's got about 800,000 miles on it, so it was a full working truck until we decided that we were gonna make it into a show truck. So the name's Lot Rot, that's important. My wife named it Lot Rot because I was so proud of it. It just sat in the yard in front of the shop. You know, anytime you have a truck and it sits outside, it just breaks down all the time because, you know, it gets Lot Rot. So that's why we named the, the truck Lot Rot. This is about the fourth year and the fourth phase of customizing on this truck. So we've done everything from stretch the frame, we've added a drop axle and made it into a heavy haul. We've repainted the truck from top to bottom, inside and out with a brand new custom paint job. But the paint job's real special because you can't feel these lines. And that's when you know you've had, someone has taken a lot of time with the paint job. So we got our breather screens here. Roadworks chopped these out for us. That's kind of Tri-State Massey Motor Freight. That's kind of our signature Punisher skull here. And then right around front here, we got it again. And then of course, with our name cut out in the bottom right hand corner. Lift bumper, double J headlights. You can't go wrong with double J. Every light on the truck will turn in from the DOT color to blue. And then we've got underglow that, that's blue as well. We've got a full deck plate runway with button lights that turn from orange to blue. Our front T-bar, real sturdy, quarter inch thick plate. Uh, I'm sorry, half inch. Talladega fenders. We got a Teflon pad for our foot on our RGN trailer so that you don't damage the deck plate. So our rear window chop, all of our drop panels, eight inch drops, your cab drops right here, your window chops, and then your drop visor there. All that stuff was bub. So everything inside the truck is either bought and modified or, or made here in the shop. All this was handmade. All our grills are held on by magnets. So everywhere that you see a grill, upper, doors, and in the sleepers all held on by, by these little magnets. So you just put it up there. It just sits in place. All custom made foot pedals. You got an M there. Your brake pedal's got an M. And then your gas pedal's got an F over there for Massey Motor Freight. I think that's pretty cool. The lower part of your dash here is painted in legendary silver. Your overhead is painted in legendary silver as well. We got our hidden CB mounted in there. And then your lights in here, your blue lights, now they'll turn to orange as well. We got our Roadworks shifter. And we didn't make that, we bought that from Roadworks. Take a look at these, at these hand stitched seats we got here. And that's Alcaterra. And then you got your regular leather. Same with your sleeper boot. Then you got a full Alcaterra floor in here that we don't really want to touch because it'll probably get dirty. <laughs> and then your couch cushions is all hand stitched. And then we got our name sewn into the ceiling up there. I thought that was just a little bit of a nice touch. You can kind of see the, uh, the way that they hid the blue lights up around the ceiling and it just kind of glows. You can't see the bulbs. This is a nice touch. We've got bulbs underneath the couch cushions where everything just kind of glows and you can't really tell too much of where the light comes from. Sleeper boot was hand built. Both sides and then the, the top was hand stitched out of leather. And then as you kind of get down to the bottom, we made that out of the Alcantara as well to match the floor. If you can see the detail in the way that they built that AM box with all your crossovers and all your wires hidden, it's actually got a full-time battery charger built in behind it. It has batteries in there as well, and then batteries underneath the passenger step and the driver step. So we got 10 big truck lithium batteries in this unit. We got about 10,000 continuous watts and about 15,000 peak watts 
We've got 17, 18 total speakers in the truck. And if you notice those wires, how they're twirled up, and all of the speaker wires are twirled in a figure eight pattern equally on all of the speakers. And this is some of that Alcantara that I was telling you about. So it's wrapped even out here. If you want to see this truck in the best form that it's ever seen, wait till next show season. Because I'm telling you, if you think it's great now, just wait. That'll be, that'll be uh, uh, job number five.